Hey, John here. Uh, I'm just sitting here trying to diagnose something that happened last week. Uh, so let me give you a scenario. So there's 96,000 miles on this truck. Not that that's important, but um, it's a 2002, right? So <clears throat> I'm going along the highway and the truck just, well, I floored it to get around this uh, other vehicle and the truck just, it felt like, felt like the engine just blew, you know, half, uh, it was just like half power and making all kinds of racket and noise almost like piston slap it's kind of hard to explain it you know almost like a exhaust manifold leak i know it was horrible anyways uh i'm looking at a place to pull over and then it starts clearing up because i'm off the gas you know and it, but the engine light was blinking so i'm like oh man i did something bad so it kind of cleared up i say kind of because it was it was still missing but not as much you know of course under the load trying to get around something uh, but the uh, engine light was still flashing, so I hooked a scan tool up, and bank two was through the roof. It was positive. Uh, I think it was maxed out at 25. Um, you know, so the computer's throwing fuel at it. So, but the the uh, situation at the time, I didn't. You know. Anyways, let me let me finish. So, and then bank one. This is where I'm confused. Bank one cylinders one, three, five, and seven were all missing misfires through the roof I don't mean like one or two or whatever you know that's kind of normal but I'm talking about hundreds right so it's missing it's terrible the engines run like crap uh, so that's where I'm at with that now I let the truck sit I got to my destination let it sit the next morning the whole way back first of all that first scenario about an hour into my drive this is when it happened uh, so the next day, like I said, I let it sit. I'm going home. If the truck's not loaded, it's not pulling anything. It's just regular pickup truck, you know, unloaded. And going home, no problems whatsoever. Of course, I got the scan tool hooked up. I'm, you know, trying to monitor what's going on. And I can't figure out what happened. I mean, there's a lot of things that could happen when you're, you know, when your fuel trim's high on one bank only. Uh, you know, it could be a, could be a lot of things. But, uh, when your opposite bank has misfires at the same exact time, yeah, this could be a, a situation where there's two problems going on, but I'm just highly uh, suspicious or, you know, ruling that out. What are the odds of this being an intermittent problem and both of those situations happening at the same time? So there's where I'm at. Kind of have a loss here, and I do. I just hooked up a scan tool again. This is like a, a day or two later, and the uh, fuel trims. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. I don't have, uh, uh, well, the fuel trim on the uh, bank two, that was pegged. It was running plus 25, is now at, uh, you know, zero, around zero. Same with the left, left bank. If you rev the engine up, bank two does go up a little higher than uh, bank uh, one. But in my opinion, everything's normal here. Now, these graphs are kind of hard to read because this, this graph, it's an automatic graphing thing, so... The graph on the left is a uh, zero through six, so it's only—it's it, not even. Uh, I got my RPMs around two grand. It's not even, you know, one. This one's about two. If I go higher in the RPMs, see how the difference is. I don't know if you can see that or not. But bank one is two, two percent. Bank uh, two is four or five percent. But again, nothing, nothing odd there. This, that's that's normal. So I also got, uh, and here's the parts that concern me. Uh, the O2. I'm reading the O2. So. And that was just the history of what we just did. They're just switching on and off. I don't see any. Uh, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll rev it up here. I'll go up, uh, I'll floor it. Hold on a second. Okay, so on bank one, sensor one, there's really no, I mean, there might be a, a, a second of a delay here. I don't know, the scan tool is not the best, but uh, even if you let it go, there's no real, you know, indication of that, of that going. The same with bank two. Sensor one, not a real watch. So at this point, because nothing's really, you know, happening here, I'm going to go ahead and say maybe it's, I mean, and what are the odds of this? Again, both O2 sensors in the front, you know, not responding. Could that affect one bank, one bank only? Yeah, if you're, if you're O2 sensor, it, you know, you've got uh, affecting on one bank, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, you, of, of course it could be that, but, again, I'm at a loss here just because of the flip-flop thing where the bank two was, the fuel trims were pegged out, but yet bank one was the one that was reporting the misfires. <laughs> so that's where I'm confused. Uh, I don't like 
this is a sensor 2 uh, on a bank 2 sensor 2 and that's I like that but that's a new that's a new sensor bank uh, or bank 1 sensor 2 well it's, it's acting all right now but when I first started this up before I turned the camera on it was switching on and off more than I would like almost like a, a bad cat or something which that's also in the back of my mind uh, but things do look normal right here other than these front sensors not really responding so I'm gonna take it in the garage here I am gonna check the spark plugs on both sides not all of them just I'll take one out from each bank just to compare them see what's going on and then because I gotta use this truck in a, uh, two weeks I gotta go up a five-hour drive so I don't need any problems so I was trying to get this lick but I cannot duplicate I can't get this thing to skip I can't get it to you know it's running fine right now I even took it for a drive you know try to duplicate the situation got on a highway floored it nothing trucks running fine now uh, this is what I was talking about here I don't really like this mess here with the uh, sensor too but that could be normal um, anyways as I'm sitting here oh let me uh, as I'm sitting here I uh, I try to do some uh, different things let me see if, uh, if I can get these uh, yeah misfire current misfire let's try this current um, let's try this Well, that might be too many, but so it's sitting here just a second ago, nothing was reporting. So misfire counter status invalid. I don't know what that is, but uh, misfires are not happening. Oop. Misfire history. I don't care about the history. It just went to zero. That's odd. So like two two misfires. I'm not concerned. I'm when I'm talking, they were misfiring. The truck was running really rough. And you could clearly see that it was like in the hundreds, the misfires. It was only one, three, uh, five, and seven. Just on the left bank, the, you know, that was that was the problem. When I rev it up here, you know, there's no indication of anything. Again, if you see two, four misfires, you, say, you know, that doesn't concern me, actually. Twenty. <laughs> it really doesn't concern me because they go back to zero. I'm talking about when this thing was missing, and, and this could be the scan tool that's, you know, a little bit cheap scan tools so but when it was missing it was counting in the hundreds but it was missing missing I got my foot on the gas right now nothing's missing so it ain't I can't duplicate the uh, the problem right now so I am gonna like I said take the spark plugs out a couple of them on each side and just compare see what's doing and I am gonna replace the front O2 sensors see if that graph changes and then if it does you know things like look like a normal O2 sensor I, I guess I'm gonna have to blame it on the O2 sensors I mean what are the odds of both of them going front O2 sensors at the same time I'm thinking slim but that's the only thing. I, I hate to throw parts at it without diagnosing but I can't get this thing to act up the way it is and I don't want to be stuck on the side of the road if the O2s do decide to quit uh, because to continue on even with them unplugged I guess it would go into some kind of default mode but I don't want to take my chances on uh, screwing this engine up or the cats or anything uh, on running this thing you know with the fuel trims pegged out like that so I guess if anybody's got a uh, you know situation like that that that's happened to you one bank goes down and uh, the opposite side is reporting high fuel trims I would surely like, like to know what the hell that was uh, but you know as far as gases go a cat or whatever, you know, I'm gonna be like oh, it's your battery, dude <laughs> I mean, I, I'm just gonna throw this out there see if anybody has in YouTube land if they come across this video if anybody has any uh, Not even ideas like for sure They've seen this before because I again it could be a lot of things But the trucks running fine right now and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it It's just it was alarming when your light goes bang 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 and you feel like your engine just blew so I do want to know what it is but again if you haven't come across that you know it's not a big deal but uh, so anyways let me uh, let me go look at some spark plugs first and I'm gonna change the O2 sensors hopefully nothing goes wrong there <laughs> so stand by all right so I got the two spark plugs out and they don't look any I mean there's a little bit more discoloration on the insulator here but they don't look you know I don't not, I don't read spark plugs for a living, but they, they uh, seem normal to me. Uh, this came out of the bank two side. And again, there's just a slight bit of discol you know, more discoloration on the insulator. If you want to see that, but, you know, doesn't look odd to me. There was a casualty, death in the family. This didn't make it. 
uh, trying to get this out of here. This kind of just separated pretty easy. Um, you know, you know, these are set up there. This plugs in. This goes over the top. Let's see here. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, it's just a piece of what the hell that is. A little piece of tape, oil tape. See it there in the end. Let's see if I can get that out of there. But anyways, this goes in there. This obviously goes in there. I like it so, but didn't make it out. I gave her a few twists, tried to pull her out, but it didn't uh, didn't work out. I don't know if you get these with a new. I might as well order a new set of uh, some kind of eyeball shit there. I don't know if that's foil tape or what that is. Again, I don't know if the new new uh, wires will come with this. Maybe, maybe not. And I could probably splice it back together. Although there's a piece left in here. What the hell am I looking at here? There's still a piece left in there. So that's dead in water. Uh, but anyways, I don't think these are originals. Pretty sure uh, they were replaced uh, at 50,000 miles. There's 100,000 miles on it now. But I'll get another set of wires. But I did. I had it. You know, for shits and giggles, I needed to see this again. They don't look out of the ordinary. So let me go see if I can get them O2s out of there. What are the problems? Okay, so I'm trying to think what could cause an entire, you know, before I do the O2s, uh, what can cause an entire bank to go out? And, you know, you come up with stuff, but then you start thinking about stuff and you're like, yeah, no, yeah, no. But what I'm thinking is like uh, these are, these coils, for instance, they're four wire, co four wire coils and they all share a, uh, a common ground and as you can see there I got some foam missing and some acorns hanging around so is it possible a mouse could have you know ate a ground wire absolutely but it won't explain or it doesn't in my head anyways explain why because this is the side that was misfiring but how does that explain the other bank on the opposite side you know being pegged on the fuel trim now that being said the fuel trim is being pegged it is a plastic uh, you know intake manifold so that could possibly you know be leaking on one side and affect your fuel trims for sure but what are the odds of simultaneously and at the you know at the same time things happening like that running over there pegged out in fuel trims over here misfire so it just doesn't make sense so I'm going through I'm looking for mice damage I don't find any all the wires look intact I'm not going to unravel everything you know looking for a broken wire because the truck right now it runs great so I, I, you know, I still, I'm at a loss here, but I am going to take this fuse box apart uh, because I was in there one day, uh, probably a couple of years ago, doing something. I noticed the old remnants of, uh, you know, at the bottom of the old mouse hotel and, you know, the bottom of this underneath the fuse box was just catered with, uh, you know, mouse, mouse stuff. We'll call it that. But as you can see, there's foam missing and everything. This is a 2002, so... <laughs> But, you know, there's there, there's definitely mice that uh, have been in here, like I said, uh, looking around, acorns and, and whatnot. But just doing a visual, going around, looking at wires. Again, i got to take that box apart. Nothing looks out of place. So I'm still at a loss. And I'm going to get to the O2s next. And I'm going to fire back up to see if, you know, that changed. And if it did, I guess I'm just going to have to leave it at there were coincidentally or you know hard to believe two o test o2 sensors that are on our way out i guess uh because i'm i'm dumbfounded because i can't get this to act up it's running great so that's where i'm at and now i gotta keep throwing parts at it now i gotta get a whole set of uh plug wires again i didn't look up to see if i can get just one but uh so hopefully the o2s come out of there with no problems uh i don't know if i can see them down there i don't know i gotta get underneath let me go downstairs see what happens uh, so we're downstairs. This is bank one, right? And that O2, I'm almost 100% sure that's an original O2. I know the pipe is. And of course, following up back, that's an original uh, cat. And that's, I'm a little concerned about that because that's, uh, I believe that's another after the cat O2 sensor 2. I think that's original. Um, and uh, I don't know, earlier I was looking at that, that, I don't know, just, anyways, that's, that's where I'm at. So that's an original, and getting that out, and getting these O2s out, well, we'll see how that goes. But this other pipe on the bank, too, that O2 up there, 
I believe that's original and this pipe is definitely original but what is not original is obviously this cat I just did this like a week or two ago I don't think it has anything to do with my problem now so in case you want to go that route but that's a, a new O2 and it looks better than the other uh, number two sensor as far as you know the way it was graphing but there's where I'm at now the bank this bank here is the one that was missing cylinders right so you know then you start looking at things and wondering about things is it the cat could it be the cat you know I don't know this is the side that was uh, running it was pegged out 25 plus 25 on a field trim there and uh, it doesn't explain you know again are there two different problems at the same time uh, <laughs> I don't know but right now currently there is no problem well until I create one, trying to get one, you know, so two sensors out, but currently there's no problems and the truck runs fine. But I do, you know, just romping on the gas, these O2s in my opinion should have done a little bit something different than they actually did. They just like look like they're switching on and off. And I'm under here trying to look for, you know, damage, uh, mouse damage, but there was one thing when I was doing this other, what the hell is it, this other uh, cat. Let's see, yeah, right there. See, as that goes over that metal, uh, you know, aluminum uh, transfer case there, that was rubbing, and I put some tape on it. It didn't look like it got into the wires, but, so I was looking for stuff like that, didn't find anything, and that goes to uh, after the cat. That is the one on bank one that was acting kind of funny, but I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Anyways, I didn't buy one of those. I did buy a... Uh, two front ones. Well, I'm going to heat this up so too because uh, first I'm going to clip the wire to get a you know a 22 inch or 22 inch 22 millimeter uh, wrench on there, get a good purchase, and hopefully this works out. And I'm a little hesitant to do this because I need this truck in two weeks and it works fine right now. So I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm probably going to screw everything up. Have to rent a truck or something because I got to be somewhere in two weeks. Uh, but let me. Uh, I gotta heat this up. I mean, uh, you know, trying this cold is never gonna work. This is an 18 year old vehicle, and I do believe that sensor is 18 years old. So it's been rusted in there for 18 years. This is probably not gonna go well, but I have to solve my curiosity. Uh, so I'm gonna fire up the torch, get that thing hot, and see if that thing will come out. So I gotta move this camera because I blow something up. So stand by. I guess I'll put that camera in. I guess I do blow something up. That would be cool to watch. Alright, let's see. Hopefully I turn that gas on because I don't want to crawl out of here. So I'm just going to heat this up. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm just going to heat this up and uh, see if I can get a wrench on there. See how this turns out. I don't know. This is stupid probably, but it is what it is. Can't, no. Can't leave it alone. Well, number two came out, uh, so I don't know if there's anything wrong with these, but worst case scenario, uh, you know, they're 18 years old, nearly 20 years old, so there's that. <laughs> Replacing your O2 sensors, it's not a bad idea. I don't know if it's going to solve my problem. I uh, currently don't really have a problem, but the reason I'm attacking these O2 sensors is because i got to ask, you know, the question has to be asked, can a O2 sensor affect one bank and make misfires. I'm thinking they absolutely it can because the O2 sensor is what's telling your computer you know how much fuel to put in so because I can't duplicate this it's uh, I wouldn't even call it intermediate it only happened once uh, that's why I'm attacking there and uh, based on uh, those things weren't really responding well uh, when I first started this video out so let me put these new ones in and see if the re response when I hit the gas is different and go from there all right so uh, everything's plugged in tightened down plugged in now I just got to get a plug wire start this puppy up hopefully the O2 uh, sensor 
you know, the graph or the voltage is uh, different or, you know, it responds. And then I'm just going to call this a fix because <laughs> there is no fix yet. But uh, that's where I'm at. Let me get that plug wire and go from there. Uh, so I got the uh, torque app running. Uh, I know it's a different scan tool, but it even looks better on this already. These are the fuel trims here. Left bank, right bank. And uh, that was running high before, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see what happens here if we step on the gas a little bit. Yeah, I think it shot up to, it was this bank that shot up to 7 or 8. Now everything looks like it's running perfect. Uh, so let's go to the O2 sensors. See if they're responding different. So before, I know it's a different scan tool, so it might have made a difference, but uh, before, no matter what I did, revved it up or down, it was just switching on and off. It didn't really indicate, you know, it running lean or rich or anything. It was just switching on and off, kind of like what it's doing now. So let's give it a little test. And this is, uh, actually, they both look better. Uh, remember the one, I think it was sensor two, was running, uh, a little bit weird, uh, but let's see what happens here. So it did respond a lot better than it did. They both dropped at the same time. This one's taking a little bit of time climbing back up, but I'm happy with that. Slowly raise the RPMs up. Sounds better too. I don't know why, but I could see these are responding now. Uh, before they had kind of no response, you know, no up and down on a scale like this. So I'm thinking that uh, this is hopefully the fix. <laughs> Doesn't explain anything, you know, the left bank missing misfiring and the right bank rich running. Uh, no, uh, it was a lean condition. Yeah, I was throwing fuel at it. So everything looks good here. So I guess uh, this is fixed. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell you that because, you know, you didn't see it broke. But trust me, it was broke. It did sound horrible and it was running horrible. So I'm thinking, I'm hoping anyways, it was the O2 sensor. So I replaced both front O2 sensors and this truck seems to be uh, running perfect. Uh, but I will post something, even if I post this video, even if, you know, because uh, two weeks from now I'm going to be running this truck up. Uh, to New Hampshire, top of New Hampshire, so it's a five hour trip, something goes wrong, of course I'm going to have my cameras with me, because uh, it's on a snowmobile trip, so uh, I'll definitely film it if something goes wrong, but I think, I hope that this is a fix. Anyways, I guess that's all I got, thanks for watching, I was going to get the other scan tool to, you know, apples to apples, but uh, it takes a little longer to get that one going, this one is immediate, with the, you know, the little uh, Bluetooth thing there, dongle, whatever you call it, so I'm hoping that this is a, a fix. Yeah, it's in closed loop, so it's using the O2s to, you know, do its thing. And I'm really, even the fuel trim looks better. Oh, that's a short term, wait a minute, long term. Yeah, the two long terms are right here. So they're both at zero. Everything's relatively zero, so I remember what, the uh, long term on this bank two went up when I revved it up and now it seems to be fine. So I think that was a fix. Anyways, cross my fingers. Uh, thanks for watching. I guess uh, we'll get you the next time. See what, see what happens on this trip. See if anything goes wrong. But that's it. That's all I got, man. Thanks for watching.